All right, guys, welcome to Performance Farms channel. I'm John Rodriguez, and in today's video, we're gonna switch up things a little bit and not talk so much about competition gear, but more on duty gear. Uh, we're gonna talk on duty belts in particular and how I set mine up. For me, it's my personal opinion, it might vary, but I'm gonna tell you why I set mine up the way it is and why, for me, it's the most efficient way uh, that I do it. So I have three different types of belt setups and we're gonna go on to it. So if this is a video that's interested to you, go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe button and I might do some more of this content. All right guys, so stay tuned. All right guys, so this would be belt number one. Number one is gonna be your most typical uh, patrol belt. It's issued to most departments nationwide. Um, and now some departments get a little bit more piece of kit, uh, some departments get less, but this is typically the bare minimum that most departments will get, right? Um, it's all leather, leather goods, it's basket weaved, it's got the little uh, snap, snap buttons, very old school, very traditional, not my favorite style of belt uh, because it's basket weave and basket weave limits you on a whole lot of uh pouches and uh belts that you're allowed to get luckily there's a new belt company that i like that's using doing um basket weave with cobra buckles uh x belt check them out i'm not sponsored by them i'm gonna buy a belt and try it out so uh if you want guys want to wait till i do a review on them i would i'm just uh waiting for this belt to kind of wear down a little bit and i need to replace it so uh that being said so uh strong side i have duty firearm on a basket weave now uh, this belt also is a good setup if you are a road deputy or if you're a detention deputy right if you are in uh, the jail you're a jailer uh, where you have to wear your gun to and from work uh, or anytime you're out in public uh, uh, representing the sheriff's office uh, or department that you work for uh, but when you go to the jail you have to strip down to no gun no ammo so for me Pretty simple. I have it on a, a QLR system uh, from Safari Nine. Just uh, do that. Put that in the locker. Put these two in the locker, and we're ready to go for the for the jail uh, scene. Um, but you know, for patrol as well, right? Because when you guys go to the to drop off somebody at the jail, you typically can't go in with your handgun and mags anyways um so <clears throat> that being said so on this side i have of course uh the the duty weapon um i have i'm using a keeper right now as key control i'm still trying out some different methods i just switched this belt around uh been wearing it for a month with uh some type of key control on this side that goes into my pocket and i don't really need it so the most i've ever used is handcuff keys so uh don't really need it so i'm gonna try this out for a little bit see how this handles on this side we have OC spray, of course, MK4. Uh, on uh, most of this stuff is Bianchi or uh, Safari Land. All right, guys. So um, the difference between this belt and all the other belts I'm going to show you is that I do carry two handcuffs here. I carry a hinged, uh, hinged, and a chain. All right, in the Bianchi double handcuff pouch. So I have both here. Of course, I have my shield and the belt. Uh, I have dual magazine pouch um, on this side. And what I want to say about this, if you wear your magazine pouch that way where the mags are in the front, don't do that. That's not efficient at all to do reloads like this, okay? That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Magazines need to be up with the bullet paint pointing towards the front of your belt. If you're doing backwards, you're wrong as well. All right, this is the only thing I will say is, not my opinion, it's a fact. If you're, one, this takes up less real estate on your belt than if you do it sideways. All right, so I would rock it like this. Um, flashlight, and tourniquet, and radio. You can see nothing on my back, got some keepers, but that's about it. All right, so, um, the reason I have the flashlight on this side is because if I draw my weapon and it's nighttime, I don't have a weapon light, I can easily get it with my support side. All right, that being said, I have the tourniquet, right? I can get the tourniquet on my right arm, or if I reach far enough, I can get it with my left arm, right? If my right arm goes 
hurt, or I can't grab it, I can still grab it with this side. So that's more important that you need to have that um, where you can reach it with both sides. Uh, some guys keep it on their, uh, there's some kits that you can put to mount it on here. It's a great piece of kit if you're on road, but if you're a detention deputy, uh, when this goes, when you go into the jail, you have nothing. And let's say one of your teammates or coworkers gets shanked or gets stabbed, and by whatever means you need a tourniquet and you don't have one. So that's why I carry mine here. It's always on me. And then the, the radio is right here. I can still reach it, remove it, change the channels, do whatever. I can still hear it from here. Normally I have a mic that comes over and clips onto my shirt. Um, but yeah, so this would be your typical patrol belt and this is the way I like to set it up. I don't like handcuffs behind my back. Uh, I know some people teach that. I don't, I like in the front. Keep it simple, keep it in front of me. If I'm wrestling someone, and I can't get to it in the front, then it's not meant to be pulled out. Um, once I get the subject in control, I can go ahead, you know, put that three point pin in and go ahead and secure him or her. All right, so this is belt number one. Let's go on to belt number two, guys. All right, guys, so this brings us to belt setup number two. Now, number two is what I would call like off duty, um, maybe range belt uh it fits a lot of different areas it's lightweight it's very maneuverable uh, it's very comfortable uh i wish it was my everyday duty belt but it can't because i would have to add more piece of kit but anyways so it has holster on the uh strong side pair of handcuffs because i always need a pair of handcuffs no matter what uh, shield on this side because we're not wearing anything else uh, double mag and a radio pouch and that is it guys I mean there's plenty of room here to add stuff of course I got a little glove thing here uh, normally my mechanics gloves uh, or if I need key control I have key control there uh, with multiple handcuff keys and every other key I need but so basically this would be probably the nicest setup you don't have to wear any type of keepers it is um cobra buckle so it's nice and strong this will probably be like my favorite setup uh but let's just call it an off duty or lightweight setup like if you were in a specialized unit you probably wear this every day to work uh without any any you know extra piece of equipment you know those top tier guys or in the law enforcement realm don't need oc spray batons tasers they normally just ride around like this everything else is in their call out uh gear so this is what this is a very nice and simple setup again everything is the same i try to keep my handcuffs up front um i don't like anything on my back all right i don't like one having to wrestle a subject or be on top of a subject and then have to reach back at that moment he can see that happening and he can buck me and then i have to re respond here i'm quick if i have to bail out i bail out but everything's in front of me, which is where I like it. If I'm wrestling a subject and I don't have control of him, I'm not gonna be taking out my handcuffs, so it doesn't really matter until I have control. So it's preference. There's old timer guys that like to wear double ones on the back. Um, that's typically your preference. I would try it out. It's just not for me. I don't like reaching this way to grab things and then put it back. And uh, I like all my gear in front of me where I can uh, keep visual and make sure that it's maintained all right guys so let's go on to belt number three all right guys this will be belt setup number three now number three is a little different than the other two in the sense that it's gonna be we're replacing some gear that we don't need with some gear that we do need all right so this what i would call would be like a call out belt or like a rapid response belt where if you need to uh if you're part of some specialized unit uh, SWAT guys, things like that. SWAT guys have multiple different types of belts depending on their loadout. But this would be like your typical everyday uh, special response belt, or I'll call it a call out belt. All right. On this side, we have nothing besides handcuffs and your duty holster with a leg strap. You know, if you're going to be doing a lot of running stuff, you want to keep that secure from flapping around. Uh, and then you also, it also makes the, the draw a little easier because the the thing's not moving around. On this side, we're gonna go, of course, with the shield, because we're not wearing our badge anywhere else. And then 
uh, dual mag pouch holders for that and then we're gonna go into an AR mag holder like I said if you're typically wearing this belt you're gonna be carrying a long gun um, and then some type of tourniquet I always carry a tourniquet I either carry a tourniquet on here or I usually put it up in here the radio will go into the plate carrier uh, typically with some other uh, extra gear depending on my loadout uh, I'll clip a placard to that so this would be that setup again nothing on my back as you see uh, in case I have to wrestle on the ground all right, there's nothing back there to impede or hurt myself or if I fall backwards or get pushed. Uh, the guys like to wear their handcuffs in the back. Um, there's been documented injuries of guys falling backwards uh, and anything that's in the center of your back when you hit, that's a piece of metal getting driven right into the uh, your pelvis. I mean, not pelvis, but your, your lower back area and can potentially cause some serious and permanent damage. So I like to keep my back clear. Um, so this is this setup is pretty simple uh, nothing too crazy again almost identical to their setup except we replace some other stuff all right so that would be belt setup number three tell me what you guys think how do you guys set up your belts leave comments below uh, thank you for your time and I'll see you at the range